All right, guys, in the last year or so, I've had several of these little ABUSes sent to me, and every one of them had a little note saying, show me how to decode these. And I, I can only suspect these are probably used in some schools as locker uh, locks. And this one is a ABUS 160 slash 40, 40 millimeters wide. So it's not a very big lock. They're not going to provide you a whole lot of security. And you guys have heard me say time and time again over the years, ABUS makes great locks. And, and they do. They really do make some good locks. Unfortunately, this is not one of them. Uh, these little guys have a lot of uh, vulnerabilities. Um, they're not that heavily built, so a good crack with a hammer generally would get these open. That's probably why schools pick them, because when students forget the combination, it's easy to snip this and get into it pretty quickly. But they're also decodable. And it is so easy, if I can find my shim here, it is so easy that even someone like my brother-in-law, who's dumber than a bag of dirt, even he can figure this thing out. So what we want to do, take your shim or your feeler gauge and slide it in there and feel which side is wider. And on this one, it's nice and small and over here nice and fat. So the left side of these wheels is the fat side, which is usually where they have uh, the cutouts that are going to have your the gates to pick these things. So what I like to do, I'm going to have to set this down and maybe I can zoom in a little bit, hopefully without it getting too bad. All right, what I'm going to do is just slide them in there. And when you feel around, it's nice and smooth. So all we're going to do, we're going to rotate that. Try to. That thing appears to be stuck. Probably should have checked this when I took it out of the box. And what I'm feeling for is a gate. And again, it's nice and smooth, so I'm going to move to the next number. And a lot of these um, combination locks are decodable exactly this way. Not just this guy. This is usually my first attack when I find a combination lock. Again, again, it's smooth, and when you stumble across the gate, I can feel it starting right there. So it's probably two, and when you hit it, it's a nice wide gate. When you fit the tip of it in there, you can literally, you can almost turn the wheel. That's how I'm going to probably bend the shim, but you can feel it. It's definitely, there's something there, whereas all the rest of them were nice and smooth. So. We're going to stick right there, and let's keep going. We'll take the second number. For some reason, in this lock seems to get stuck on that zero. That's the second time it did that. And I can feel it starting to come up. Again, it's so wide, I can feel it from the previous number. There's our gate again. You can see we're about to move that number. And now we got to do is find that third one. Stuck on zero again. I wonder if that's a design defect. I can start to feel it, so I'm the next number I can tell. These are really wide gates on this guy. All right, so we got to, let me unzoom it so we can get the autofocus to work for us. So it's on two, what is that, 278, trying to read it through the camera lens, and we have nothing, not an open. And that's because we need to rotate them all together in one direction or the other. It really doesn't matter until we... Find an old, line the gate where it needs to be. So that's one, six, seven, zero, five, six, nine, four, five, eight, three, four. <laughs> My luck, I'm going the wrong way probably. And there we go. So it turned out to be 723 is how you decode these little ABUS 160-40s. Really not a lot to it. Like I said, even my brother-in-law can do it, and he's a pretty simple guy. Trust me on that. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. As always, hit that subscription button. Click on that notification bell so when I post a new video, you'll be one of the first to know about it. As always, I appreciate it if you'd support the Lock Lab, and that is how you do it. There's a Patreon. Thanks, guys. Come